It's Miranda. I was thinking about um, the way things can come across, the way people can talk and things like that. And I am definitely somebody who has apologized to people in the past about stuff. I, even when they didn't even remember sometimes, I've reached out and I've said I'm sorry for something that I felt just wasn't, like the way I said something or just the way things happen maybe. Sometimes you get an acceptance. Sometimes you get someone saying, I don't even know what you're talking about. You can get rejected um, or you can get ignored completely, which can be a rejection. Just kind of in the air. You don't really know sometimes. I feel like it's important to recognize that sometimes, even if you have great intentions, even if you don't mean to be a jerk or sound like a jerk, come off like a jerk, you can. You might. We just had a power surge. Hold on. I was just going to say that after reviewing some of the stuff that I said on Newgrounds, and just even on Facebook when I used to be on there, which is I deactivated a long time ago. And right before I did, I actually did put out a big apology saying like, if I've ever like trolled you on, and it hurt your feelings instead of just being like, ha ha ha. What I would like to do is apologize if there's anything that I've said that has hurt anybody's feelings. If there's anything that even if it's now not offensive. In 10 years, maybe it is. That kind of thing. It's kind of funny to some people. And it's even a little funny to me. Like, I, I played Cards Against Humanity. I was really good at Cards Against Humanity. I now recognize that there are reasons why some people take it very uh, differently than others. And I do want to understand. And I don't want to be insensitive to anybody else. So I want to apologize in advance. And I want to apologize if anything I say going forward way down the line ends up being offensive as well. I, I'm not trying to be like shocking and if I'm not going out of my way to buy something harmful. I'm not going out of my way to do something that's really going to be a problem later. I'm just doing my regular stuff and then taking it to a ridiculous degree just just for just to be stupid, just to be silly, just to have fun, just to laugh at myself. That's another thing I would like to do is thank people. I would like to thank anybody who has subscribed or watched or recommended or anything any of my videos I really want to thank you because um even though a lot of this is like just like oh my god I remember when I did that I remember when I did I used to make animations on new grounds clearly I don't mind the the thumbs up type of stuff but at the same time I also don't want to get to a point where I'm catering to everyone else so much that I forget myself and then I start doing things that are dangerous and scary. I don't want to, I hope you never have to play a video like this in front of something that I've done. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of all the things that I've seen on YouTube. Uh, like I'll start the video like, I strive to be a great person. The next clip is like, you know, me bonking a random person on the head. Does that mean that I'm like this because she said that? Like, no. Oh, she shouldn't be doing He shouldn't be doing At this point, if you're not hurting anyone and you're not being a total scumbag, um, enjoy. Nothing that I say is, this is how you should live. This is more like my opinion. What has made my life easier? What has made my life happier? You can't take back things that you say online. So I, me being 41 new grounds at early 2000s so there's a lot of me out there i can't remember every single thing i've written i can't remember every single thing i've said i'm just saying for people who know they did something wrong did something really messed up people calling them out on it and then when enough people call them out on it then they apologize or when something else happens it's a snowball like okay maybe now i should apologize even though i am the tiniest little corner of a youtube thing ever Maybe somebody else will think of putting a video like this to hold themselves accountable for real before they've done anything bad. Because then this is the video that they will get put in front of all the crap that they've done to show them, really. Remember when you said this? So tired of seeing those apologies over and over again from the same people. And it's just like, I apologize for this once, did you? <laughs> You did. You're right. You apologized for this. And then you did the same thing. And then you apologized. And then you did the same thing. Now I can write you off officially. 
So there you go. I guess it's kind of like a, a little fail safe. I'm almost definitely not going to be a huge YouTuber or anything like that, but I am going to be somebody who doesn't want to do anything like any of those people who are constantly in drama. I'm sure that gets you the views. That that's what you're doing. Like I said, if it's behind the scenes, nobody's really hurting anybody, then I could care less. But some of it is actually illegal, if it's true. And some of it is actually just like bullying, if it's true. So it's like, why don't you apologize to the people you're hurting? Or maybe these people should go to the police because these little apologies online, some of them are really just, come on now at this point. I'm really patient. I'm really cordial. And if you're a jerk to me, I will not automatically turn into one. But if I see that my kindness isn't killing your shitty attitude, I will shut that conversation down. I have no need to talk to a brick wall. I'm not going to apologize for those. But if you're making a valid point and I was just being thick-headed, I like to think that I'm an understanding person. I like to think that I see the other point of view. But I'm sure there were times that maybe I fell short. When it's online after a while, when you look at it, it's just like, it's almost like it's echoing. Every time somebody reads it, it's echoing. So I'm like, you know, I want to just take that off. So I don't understand why people who have much, 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 much larger followings can't do that. Maybe it just happens faster but, and they'll leave them for days. So I don't understand. People make jokes about um, only old people use emojis and stuff like that. I'm like, or people who are trying to use those four tone indicators because that's what I had to do. People have that little, the slash thing and all that stuff now on Twitter. I was using emojis for that exact reason because whenever I'd say something and it was very blunt or whatever or to the point, like sometimes cousins would point out, oh, you kind of sounded a little bit like this. I was just, they're like, we know that's how you talk, but blah, blah, blah. Put a little smiley face at the end so people know I'm kidding. So again, um, that's one of the reasons why I think I, uh, I'm better off staying away from social medias. Twitter, very rarely am I putting anything on there these days. And Instagram, same thing. I don't really put much. I more like people's things these days than anything else, unless I feel like I have something I want to put. That's what this video is. And um, I just wanted to share that and say I'm sorry again for anything. Um, only if you deserve that apology though, okay? I mean, if you were in the wrong, let's be real here. It's not about ego. It's about right and wrong, okay? And I'm right. I'm always right. Okay, don't you know that? I'm always right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm always right. That's my apology. Okay, the angle's a little bit different because I got a call and guess what it was from? It was about my warranty. It was about my car warranty. Oh my goodness. Apparently it has expired. I don't know how many times in the past couple years, right? Or come really close. Funny. <laughs> Bye.